What's up guys? So if you have a Korean friend or know a few Korean people or simply know the real names of some of your favorite K-pop artists, you probably have noticed that a lot of us share the same last name. Kim, Lee, Park, Choi. And compared to some of the other countries, Korea does have a small amount of family names. Ever wonder why? In today's video, I'm going to answer that question for you once and for all. Let's get started. So first, to answer the most obvious question, yes, we do have more names than just the Kim, Park, Choi, Lee, the common ones. The Korean government estimates that we have about 270 traditional family names in Korea. And yes, this is a very small number compared to other countries. For example, our neighboring country Japan has about 100,000 last names in use. And countries like Netherlands, which only started using last names in the 1800s, has much more than Korea already. If you account for all the foreigners who decide to keep their native last names as they apply for citizenship in Korea. Kind of like if a guy named John Smith comes from America and while he's applying for Korean citizenship, he just makes the Smith sound more Korean and writes it in Korean as Smith and applies for a citizenship just like that. Then we would have about 5,000 last names in Korea. That's still not enough to reach Japan's 100,000 or some of the other countries out there. But anyways, today I'm going to explain to you guys about the 270 traditional Korean names we have. To begin, a majority of these Korean names is written in one letter if you write it in Korean. And these one letter last names are what's often noted as the traditional Korean names, the ones with the full Korean heritage. But if you look at the list of the traditional Korean names, you'll notice that some of them have two letters. I think the most famous family with a multi-syllable last name would be the Namgung family or the Tegal family. And usually the founders of these families come from different countries. Likewise, both the Namgung and the Tegal family come from China. Of course, they're still considered traditional Korean names because they have lived in Korea for such a long time and there's a significant number of family members within Korea, whereas Sumisu would not be a Korean name. So now that we can distinguish the full-on Korean names from the ones that usually come from different countries, let's dig deeper into why we still don't have a lot of last names in Korea. First, you have to understand that family names in Korea are just shorter versions of representing your heritage. It really means almost nothing on its own. If you meet a Korean guy and you ask him, yo, what's your family name? And the guy responds, Kim, congratulations, you now know nothing about this person. And I know that you guys are probably more confused after hearing this than you were at the beginning of the video. Uh, so let me take my personal last name and kind of use it as an example to show you what I mean by this. So my last name is Son. The full version of how I would introduce myself if I wanted to give out my full heritage would be this. Now let's break this down. Miryang is the name of the city where my family name originates from and is the city that traditionally my ancestors have lived. Son is the name. Si is just the letter you put after someone's name, kind of like Mr. or Mrs. in English. Jin Sa is the name of my clan. There are several clans within the Miryang Son family. Usually a clan starts when for some reason the family decides to break up and someone starts their own heritage line in a different location or something. To us, Jin Sagong is the title of the person who broke off from the main branch and started his own line of heritage. And 44대손 means 44th generation. So if we put this into English, it would be 44th generation of Jin Sagong clan of Son family from Miryang. So according to statistics, Son is the 25th most common last name in Korea and it has about 450,000 members. Now the important thing is that this is a combination of everyone using the last name Son. Remember I told you my family comes from the city Biryang? Here's a list of other Son families that originated in different cities. Gyeongju, Pyeonghae, Andong, Naju, Gure, and so on. The point is, even within the 25th largest family group, there are these different family lines. And it may vary by different cities, but often if your family comes from one city, there's a high chance that your family is completely unrelated to another family from a different city. For example, I know for a fact that Andong Son family is completely unrelated to the Biryang Son family. They just happen to use the same character to represent their family name. Let's try another one to make it a little bit more easier for you. If you guys are my subscribers and have been following me or watch my videos you guys probably saw my most recent video about an American guy who has become a Korean citizen and is a Korean celebrity but is facing major drug charges right now and as I mentioned in the video his
his English name is Robert Holly. But the name he applied for Korean citizenship with was Hai. Ha is the last name and Il is the first name. He applied for a citizenship under Yeongdo Hashi Iltesun, which means first generation of Ha family from Yeongdo, which is a province in Busan where Robert lived at the time. And obviously, this man doesn't have a clan name because there aren't any clans within the Yeongdo Ha family because he and his family members are basically everyone in the Yeongdo Ha family. Of course, Ha is already the 35th most common last name in Korea. And there are more popular Ha families that originate in different cities. For example, the Jinju Ha family and the Gangwa Ha family. But obviously, Yeongdo Ha is completely unrelated to any of these family groups. Let's apply this new knowledge to other common Korean names. Kim has the following cities of origin. Yeah. All these different families split up in different clans of its own, therefore have different family trees and histories and so on. So understand that just because you have the last name Kim, it doesn't mean you're related to any of the other Kims. For example, I have two really good friends with the same last name. One of them is named Park Subin, and the other is named Park Seokhyun. On the surface, it looks like both of them are from the Park family and therefore are family members. But in reality, Subin is from the Chungju Park family and Seokhyun is from the Biryang Park family, meaning they are completely unrelated to each other. An interesting fact, until 1997, Korea had a law called 동성 동본 금원 제도. It basically prohibited anyone with the same last name and the same city of origin from marrying each other because Koreans believe that if someone's on your family tree, that you are related in some way or another. But of course, if you share a same last name but come from different cities, technically you are unrelated to each other and therefore could get married. So using my friends again, Subin and Seokhyun could get married if they wanted to, even if this law was still in power. On top of that law, your clan or your family group has some law of its own. For example, if you come from the Biryang Son family, like I do, they used to prohibit us from marrying members of the Biryang Park family. Why? According to history, these two families coexisted with each other and lived in one town, so therefore treat each other like family and consider one another related. So me, being from the Biryang Son family, couldn't get married to my friend Seokhyun, who comes from the Biryang Park family, even if we wanted to. And if gay marriage was allowed in Korea. Also, back in the day when Korea still had a king and a social class system, the lowest social class, usually composed of peasants, slaves, and prostitutes, they weren't allowed to have a last name. Because the society back then treated these people as not worthy of a family name because they were simply pets or, or properties of these wealthy people. And tracking their family heritage would mean nothing. But as some of them moved out of their social class for some miraculous reasons, and as Korea was starting to get rid of its social class system, these people needed to adapt a Korean last name. And if you were one of these people back in the days, what kind of last names do you think you would prefer? Obviously, the ones of the ex-royalties or the rich. And that's what a lot of these people did. They bought their ways into the family trees of royal families and whatnot, or forged a family tree of their own, and started their own families with similar last names, but in a different city. For example, the last name Yi, which is the second most common last name in Korea, is popular because one of the families associated with the Yi family is the Jeonju Yi family, which was the family group which founded and ruled the Joseon dynasty. And obviously, since a lot of these people adapted royalty names, royalty names actually mean nothing in Korea anymore because it's actually really hard to track down who the authentic descendants are and who the fakes are. So, let me summarize this video in three lines before I leave. One, there are many different families in Korea that use the same character to represent their family. Two, regardless, that doesn't mean they are related. Three, you have to see the city that the family comes from and the clan they belong to. The end. Thanks for watching. I hope this answered your question about Korean last names and why we have so many little last names compared to your country and culture. And like always, if you found this video interesting, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more information on Korea and K-pop. Until then, see you next time.